Hey guys, Todd here with RC Ohio. Um, I guess first of all, I just want to wish everybody uh, uh, good health. Um, I know we're going through a hard time, uh, not only in our country, but uh, everywhere. And um, I'm hoping that, you know, everybody's family is, is happy and healthy. And um, if not, who whoever uh, may not be healthy, I'm wishing a speedy recovery. Um, yeah, this is, this is rough times, rough times for, for our country and others. Um, I just hope everybody's doing well. Uh, yeah, um, I uh, just have a, a small unboxing to do. I came home today and uh, it was sitting out in front of my house. Um, something I've been very interested in for a while and I was excited to get. I finally decided that I needed another project uh, pretty much because of this shitty virus I guess where we're all pretty much locked up in our houses and not not able to do much so uh, decided to start a, another unique project and um, well this is the first parts that I got and they're some of the most interesting parts to me. Uh, let's see here. This package came from uh, Stephen Vaccaro um, of Offshore Electrics Incorporated. Um, they're located in Chelsea, uh, Massachusetts. Um, if you guys find any interest in anything that I have here, uh, Offshore Electrics is where you find things like this. It's probably going to be a little bit hard to open. Bear with me. Yeah, there's no tear tab. Nice packaging job, Stephen. Thank you. this wall package he had a nice shoved in there really good with this foam and everything it's really nice because these are kind of good looking pieces and i'd like them to stay that way appreciate that steven These are uh, scale replica outboards. They're a replica of the seven marine outboard engines, if anybody's familiar with those. Um, those are the engines that this company has, uh, seven marine has created. Uh, they actually have uh, CT, uh, Cadillac CTSV supercharged V8s in them. Um, some of them, they're ranging from like 627 horsepower uh, at the shaft to, uh, these These are the replicas of the 627. Um, so, not really super happy with what the housing looks like. It's kind of, uh, I mean, it's not bad. Um, it's an all metal lower stainless steel hardware that's not turning quite yet um, they're not bad looking you can get these in this silver and black or silver and gray or you can get the housings in red
there's the second one. So as you can tell, I'm going to do a dual outboard. Um, I'm not going to say what the boat is yet. The hull I have ordered. It's on, it's on the way from Australia. I will say it's 36 inches long with a, with a 10 inch beam. So we're going to stuff these bad boys with uh, some pretty serious brushless power and uh, try to get it moving pretty good. Uh, I'll try to pull one of these housings off real quick and see what's, what's going on inside. I don't see any obvious, yep, there we go. All right. So those, I hope I don't lose one in the water. They don't really, they just kind of snap on there. Yeah, I don't think they'll come off. They shouldn't come off. But that's how they stay on. They have a, let's see. Uh, there's not going to be enough light to see that. But there, there's little insets in there. And then there's little notched tabs right there that go into the insets. Trying to get this tape off the top of the motor mount. Let's see if I can get the drivetrain to turn. say they do ship without any oil on the outdrive uh, they do recommend that you fill them with uh, I believe it was like a 90 weight oil and they also recommend changing that oil after every run which uh, I'm pretty sure that's not gonna happen but yep oh it turns really nice I can see a good solid bearing down at the bottom where the motor shaft actually runs down I don't know how well you can see that yeah, everything's really dark in here. So I'll take my word for it. <laughs> um, obviously a water cooling pickup right here. So you take a piece of fuel tube or hose or whatever and pull it into the housing to pick up one side of the motor. And then it looks like they left the hole big enough in the bottom of the housing to bring your discharge hose out. And, um, I'll sure, sure I'll come up with something, but so yeah, that's those two. I'll pop that back on there real quick. I was kind of disappointed that they didn't come with any um, seven marine like decals or anything like that. Um, the two oven roods that I have that I bought from offshore, uh, I, they didn't list any decals in the in the listing either, so I didn't expect them. I was just hoping there may be a surprise. Um, there isn't. But I think these will still be really cool. Um, let's see. There's a couple more little parts here. Got two, two, uh, two props. They'll be counter-rotating. Uh, obviously, I'll run one motor one way and one motor the other way. Um, this is the reversed. quality of the oh yeah that's a nice stainless prop that's about as big a prop as you can put on that motor according to the website these are uh, branded offshore electric um, they're not like Octura or anything like that. We'll see how they go. I'm sure they'll move it just fine. Um, so yeah, that's the two props. The two motors. They'll sit side by side like so. I think it should be pretty nice. 
So once I get the haul in, um, I'll do an unboxing on that, and then I'll probably just do another short video of these mocked up on the haul, and uh, take it from there. I still gotta order brushless motors for them and everything, so, uh, and I gotta figure out something with decals too. These, these guys, are they're just a little too plain looking, and uh, again, the split down the center where the halves were molded not super pleased with that they'll be fine i mean they're cool but they are just not the quality that the the evan roods are that i got um, from offshore electrics and this is by no fault of offshore electrics either um i will will say that these these are not their product um they just sell them uh, they're made by some company in europe it says on the website and uh they did a nice job they did a nice enough job but it just really would have been nice if that that center piece because it does look like a cap that goes in the center of the housing if that piece could have at least been molded as one piece um, i could actually almost deal with the split down the housing because that might be a hard part to mold all right guys i uh, just wanted to share with you what i got and um i'll be back sooner or later probably sooner because there's just not too much to do right now so i'll be back with some fifth scale stuff or some e-word stuff you know things like that so just wanted to share and uh any questions or comments please feel free to you know as always comp leave them in the comments i'll get back to you for sure and uh, I hope you guys all stay healthy out there. I hope your families are healthy. And um, keep bringing me all that good, all those good videos you guys got too. Um, it's a good time to sit around and watch some YouTube on the, on the big screen and uh, see what you guys got going on. Good way to uh, just deal with the bullshit that's going on right now. So stay healthy, guys. Thanks.